Hello, boys and girls. Perlo Wisdom here from B Pow Picks, and we are doing 2023 summer grades for each NHL team and projections for the future for each NHL team. We've already did a couple of these already, and we're gonna go with the Nashville Predators. I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes, so let's get at it right away. We're gonna look at some statistics. I do anal I do analytics uh, quite a bit during the summer for the NHL as I'm a professional handicapper. We make lots of money doing it. If you like that idea, hit the link in the bio. Get yourself in. Have some fun. Make some scratch. But we're going to go with the Nashville Predators and what they did in the offseason and how much better or where they're project where I project them to look like next year. All right, we're starting off with the first thing they did was one of the finest things in the land, I think. I thought it was a great move. They got themselves Ryan O'Reilly. As you can tell, this is the animal. This is J Fresh. J Fresh is amazing for ten bucks a month. He gives you some of the best analytics you're going to find. It's not the only analytics I use, but for the sake of the video, it's what I will use, since it's what I use the most. Uh, incredible play driver. Last year, his goals per sixty and assists per sixty. This is neat, right? He's a great play driver offensively, excellent defensively, but his, his point production was down. Um, mostly, I think that had a lot to do with the teammates he was playing with, um, but sometimes it's just funky that way. And some players are great play drivers, but they don't actually produce a lot of the actual points themselves. They do everything to get other players in a position to do that. And O'Reilly is kind of like that, actually. Um, I thought it was a great move, and I'll tell you the main reason why I liked this move was because they have Cody Glass here, who they have been grooming to be like a Ryan O'Reilly type. So you bring in Ryan O'Reilly to help Glass, who kind of had a slow start to his career after being a sixth overall pick by Vegas. Um, they ended up picking up, uh, Poyle ended up picking up in a three-way deal, if I remember correctly, and basically gave up nothing. I can't remember what it was, but it basically, um, as you can see, he kind of struggled. He struggles offensively an awful lot. However, his even strength defense is very, very good. He just needs to round out his game. He's 25 years old. Um, has, this is based on being a third liner. So he has a way to go. Uh, ways to go before he's going to be anywhere near Ryan O'Reilly and I don't know if he ever will be but he's very intelligent he has a lot of a lot of tools in the toolbox and I think he's going to benefit greatly from Ryan O'Reilly I just can't see why he wouldn't benefit greatly Ryan O'Reilly affects all of his teammates uh, and makes all of his teammates better he's just one of those great human being uh, play and selfless players that just seems to make everybody better. So I love that move. Uh, help out Cody Glass. Also help out Luca Ev Evangelista. Um, he gets to play with Philip Forsberg, try to put up some points in this stage of his career. He's probably very happy to get a contract like this. Um, and I don't think it's a bad contract for Nashville either. I think it's a win-win no matter how you look at it. So I love that move. Um, as far as they didn't do really other any other moves as far as forwards are concerned, but they did add Luke Shen. And this I'm not giving as high of grades to, except to say that Nashville has a way of being able to take defensemen in and make them better. Um, and I know a lot of people were big on Shen last year, Luke Shen. He, had, he put up some kind of lucky points in Vancouver, to tell you the honest truth. He was playing higher in the lineup than he should. And as you can see, projected war, what this means is wins above replacement. In other words, if you were to replace him with anyone from the less, rest of the league, how many would he give you, how many of his teammates would give you more wins above the replacement. And that is not very many, as you can see. He's, he's a 10% player on a third pair. He probably should be a depth player by now, to tell you the honest truth. I know he hits, and he does everything that people find, and think that is very, very important, and it can be. 
But when you overhit like Shen does and you put yourself out of position a lot and you don't have the feet to get back into position, your even strength offense and defense is uh, usually not very good. And it's not. Now, last year, he managed to be able to get points, though. Um, and it was the first year of his career where he really started to put up some points. He didn't drive the offense. Um, he wasn't great defensively. But it just seemed like he was able to put himself in a position to get a few more points than he normally. He does have a big shot. He has tools to be able to do that. But as you can see, I think this is very likely a one-off. 21 points in 55 games. Most of them were early on in his career. That being said, like I said, Nashville is very good at getting, of taking players in and making them better than they've ever been in his, their career. So I'm going to throw him a bone on this. Um, as far as the projection for Nashville, uh, I, I think basically what Barry Trotz is doing is setting up an identity for his team. And you can't do that better than bringing in a guy like Ryan O'Reilly. I mean, maybe you can, but there's not too many players that are going to be do that any better than Ryan O'Reilly has. So I like the move for that reason. I like the move for Co Cody Glass. As far as the projection for next year, I think they'll put up a fight. They're going to be a, a fighting type team, but overall their depth is not very good. And I think they'll start to fall off later on in the season. I'm not sure about the coach that they picked up, uh, Burnett. I don't know enough about him. I know when he was in Florida, he came in the middle of the year and basically didn't change anything and let them keep on being what they were. Um, so that didn't really tell me all that much. That's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think they're going to be like they have been for a long time, kind of a bubble team and just barely miss the playoffs. And that's never a good thing. But I like Barry Trotz, um, and I think he'll find a way. All right, that's my full 42. Hope you enjoyed it, everybody. Have a great day.